The 2013-14 Air Force hockey team once again put in a strong season. The Falcons finished third in Atlantic hockey despite significant injuries to the core of their defense. Senior goalie Jason Torf, plus junior defenseman Dan Weisenhofer and Alex Halloran. The Falcons' 21-14-4 final mark enabled them to extend their program and league record with an eighth straight top four league finish, an active streak that trails only North Dakota in all of college hockey. The 21 wins marked only the second time in program history Air Force has won 20 or more during the regular season. Three of those 21 stand out above the rest, starting with a win against rival Colorado College on the Tigers' home ice at the World Arena in Colorado Springs. He picked up by CC. They've got a three on one going the other way. Shot out front. Save! Jason Torf off the stick of Ian Young. There's 35 seconds left to the Air Force power play and a minute left in the period. Tony Thomas sends it low, Thomas gets it back, shoots right into the pad of Thornburg, and he gets it back, fires away again. No, oh, that's Carey! Carey ties this game! The Tigers rise enough and kicks it in. Sent low on the goal line, fed out front, there's a shot, home, save Thornburg, rebound, put back, score! Air Force, the Falcons grab the lead, Scotty Holmes. Weisenhofer will dump it in, he gets it to McCulkey, comes in, goes backhand, and scores! GM3 makes it 3-1. That was the second straight win for Air Force at the World Arena, and it gave the Falcons the inaugural Pikes Peak Trophy, in honor of former Air Force and CC coach John Matchiffs. The next two wins were even more impressive, as the Falcons took care of two top-ranked teams at the Ledyard Bank Classic in Hanover, New Hampshire. First, 16th ranked Northeastern. Shot try there, blocked out front, never got in. Falcons buzzing, there's a shot! Mitch Turrell, bottom of the circle, one time that the Air Force leads it one nothing. to Halloran. Alex Halloran, blue line near side, drops it behind for Thomas. Thomas sends one at the net, save, rebound, put back, score! Air Force, that's curious. He's control, but Air Force gets a takeaway. This is Scotty Holm, empty net! Bingo! Scott Holm makes it 5 2 from his own blue line. Then in the classic final, Air Force took care of number four, Providence. 30 seconds left of a power play here. There's a shot blocked up front by Adam McKenzie. After Florentino, Florentino gets it back, leads down low, gets it to Minor, Mimbroya. Mimbroya back to Florentino. His shot blocked again by Adam McKenzie. We're back to five on five hockey. And here's a turnover at center ice. Mitch Durrell comes in, he shoots, and he scores! for the game. Not controlled by Providence. There's a shot. Blocked out for Baby and makes the save. The Falcons three, Providence two, your final score. Air Force wins the 25th annual Let Your Bank Classic. That win marked the sixth time in the last seven seasons that the Falcons have knocked off a top five team. It was the first regular season tournament win for Air Force in nine years. Senior Mitch Terrell was named tourney MVP, while Cole Gunner and Jason Torf were also named to the all-tournament team. In mid-January, with freshman Chris Truel subbing for the injured Torf, the Falcons swept away Army, their first sweep at West Point since 2001. Gets it to Demers anyway. Demers sends it to Musselman. Musselman skates in, centers a pass out front, shot, backhand drive, taken by Rabowski, rebound, picked up, went home by Air Force. Coming over to pick the puck up from Reed is Thomas. Thomas to Reed for a one-timer. Bingo! Score! Air Force. Comes out with it, beats Mack high in the slot. Back to Demers, top of the circle. There's a nice play by Air Force. Tic-tac-toe. Bingo! Alex Halloran. Soft Army end. 
Falcons with the draw back to Wiseman after the point. His shot is blocked temporarily out front by Alvarez. He's trying to pick it up as Thomas, and Tony Thomas finds the back of the net and says, thank you very much. Air Force comes to West Point, wins 3-1 last night, 4-2 tonight. The most impressive performance in league play came against Atlantic Hockey's best, sweeping regular season champion Mercyhurst in early February, 5-3 and 2-0. That shutout was the third in 13 games notched by Truel. For his efforts, he was twice named the Atlantic Hockey Rookie of the Week. He was also named goalie on the all-rookie team. His 2.05 goals against average was the second best in league games. The Falcons lose a strong senior class, Jason Fabian. Adam McKenzie, Jacob Musselman, Ryan Timer, Tony Thomas, Jason Torf, and Mitch Terrell will leave having combined to win 79 games. That includes two Atlantic Hockey Tournament Championships and one regular season title. They played in two NCAA tournaments. These seven combined to score 285 points and play in a combined 814 games. Three seniors earned Atlantic Hockey accolades throughout their careers. Adam McKenzie, a member of the league all-rookie team as a freshman, was a two-time all-conference player, including Defensive Player of the Year as a junior. Goaltender Jason Torf was one of 18 nominees for the inaugural Mike Richter Award as the top Division I goalie this season. He was MVP of the conference tournament in 2012 and was named Player of the Week by Atlantic Hockey 13 times. He finishes with 2,901 career saves in 115 games. That's fourth all time, just eight saves behind Andrew Volkening. Torf's career saves percentage of 91.5 is tied with Volk's for the school record. Jason Fabia became the first Falcon to win the Atlantic Hockey Individual Sportsmanship Award. Fabes played in all 39 games and was called for just two penalties for just four minutes all season. The Falcons have plenty of talent coming back next year, including the entire top line of Cole Gunner, Chad Demers, and Scott Holm. Gunner, a second-team all-conference player, finished the season with 44 points, tying for the most by a Falcon since Jacques Lamoureux had 53 in 2009. His linemate Chad Demers tied Gunner for the team lead with 15 goals, giving the Falcons two players with more than 40 points for the first time in five seasons. Along with Scott Holm and George McCulkey, Air Force will have its top four scorers back in action next year. Three of the top four defensemen also return, including Alex Halloran, the team's top defensive scorer with 18 points, and Dan Weisenhofer with 15 points. Two straight early exits in the Atlantic Hockey playoffs should motivate these players to return to the top in seasons to come.